Life in Tokyo or life in the city can get a bit overwhelming sometimes because of how busy the city is. Now, you might be wondering how you'd spend your weekend in one of the most busiest cities in the world without spending too much money. I mean, of course, you can stay at home on the weekends, but I'd worry about my health that way, so why not go hiking instead so that you'll be able to relax in nature and spend your weekend in a much healthier way. I'm going to introduce to you five hikes near Tokyo, and first on the list is Mount Takao. Mount Takao is the most visited mountain in Japan and probably in the world. This mountain gets more than 2.5 million visitors every year. It is very accessible from Tokyo and is easy to hike, therefore attracting all kinds of hikers in the country. The hiking trails are ranging from beginner to expert and I recommend you to check out the temple. Next on the list is Mount Oyama. Mount Oyama is not in Tokyo. It is part of the Tanzawa Oyama Quasi National Park. This mountain is famous for its shrine, the Afuri Shrine. Well, Afuri Shrine has a long history and often visited by people for prayers and special ceremonies. I usually visit Mount Oyama in autumn because of Afuri Ramen. The ramen restaurant only opens in fall. Check out the autumn light up as well. The cable car going up and down after the shrine will operate until nighttime. Next is Shusenkyu Gorge. Shusenkyu Gorge is one of the most popular gorges in Japan. At the end of the gorge lies a famous waterfall, the Sengataki Falls. The Shusenkyu Gorge can be visited in all season, and the mountains surrounding it has some of the best views in Yamanashi. It is super popular in autumn, just be aware of the crowd visiting the gorge with the same intention as you. Next is Mount Kentoku, my favorite day hike in Japan. Mount Kentoku is the definition of extreme adventure, very close to your doorstep. The hiking difficulty is very hard I would say, a steep hike from the trailhead towards the plains, chains and boulders going up to the summit, and a long descent going home. It's just the perfect mountain for trail seekers. If this is something you are interested in, why not give it a try. And last but not the least, an easy hike in Kanagawa Prefecture, Mount Tonodake. The views of Mount Fuji and Sagami Bay from this mountain are stunningly beautiful on a clear day. This is a moderate hike for feet hikers and the trails going up would surely make your heart pound, making it a great exercise for anyone. If you're a fast hiker, you could definitely extend your adventure up to Mount Tanzawa, one of the most famous mountains in Japan. All of the mountains I mentioned in this video are scenic and stunningly beautiful, but keep in mind that these mountains are popular places and can become very busy and crowded on clear days, most especially on the weekends and holidays. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Now, if you like hiking and traveling in Japan, check out my channel. Please take care and I'll see you in the mountains.